Overwatch is filled with many great voice actors. This video covers Lucy Pohl and all the great clips relating to her and Mercy. We previously went over the voice actors for all the heroes in real life, but this will be a focus on just Mercy and her voice actor Lucy Pohl. My name is Water and this is Water Overwatch 2. My name is Lucy Pohl and I am the voice of Mercy on Overwatch. Mercy on call. If you ever need help, just fly to me, Angela. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my hero. You're like a knight in flying armor. That's what I'm going for. <gasps> <laughs> I got into acting at a young age. My family is a theater family in Germany. They're all actors, writers. When I was eight years old, we moved to New York. My first audition was for this youth theater group. That's when my acting career started. Could you show me where the ladies' room is? Yeah, sure. Voice acting came later. I started out dubbing Khloe Kardashian for German TV, which is like, sounds like this. Oh mein Gott, Lama, was machst du da, Kim? Lass uns doch ein Selfie machen. Wollen wir shoppen gehen? Ah, I, OMG. <laughs> In a lot of ways, it's funny because when I first started working on this game, I sort of dismissed it a little bit as like, oh, it's just a video game. And I just wasn't a big gamer ever. I had a Game Boy and I played like Sega and stuff like that. <laughs> I played Sonic, but I was never a big gamer. So when I got the part, I didn't know that it was going to be a huge thing. And as an actor, you're kind of also trained to not expect that ever because you hear that a lot and a lot of people go, oh, this is going to be huge. And, then nothing happens, you know? So you just go, yeah, yeah, we'll see. You know, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. And I just sort of thought it was a gig and I was like, great, it's work. And then when I went in to record, I saw the character for the first time up on screen and I was like, whoa, she has wings. She's cool. Then at the end of the session, Andrea Toyas, the lead director, I was like, you know, this is gonna be a big deal, right? All right, yeah, 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 whatever. I was wrong. <laughs> she was right. It was a big deal. Over. Sorry. Fuck. So sorry. Overwatch was very different than other games. The voice actors became so much more popular than almost any other game. They called me a monster, so I'll be a monster. <laughs> And then Rolling Stone wrote an article about the voice actors on Overwatch titled Overwatch, what it's like being the Beatles of voice acting. And it's been so crazy and amazing. I mean, from meeting all the fans and hearing like individual stories to really touching moments where people, you know, tell us that the game has gotten them through depression or even darker, you know, periods in their lives. Um, so that's so amazing, just to think that we're a part of something that gives so much joy or is so important to people. That's so cool, you know, and so special because you don't get that chance very often as an actor. I never would have thought that I would meet people all over the world whose lives have been so touched and altered by this game. And when Blizzard came out with the breast cancer awareness skin, the pink skin, their goal was to raise $250,000 and then they ended up doing 12.7 million. And that was such a big moment for me because I was like, wow, this can really make a difference. What she stands for is something so important in the world. Helping those in need is its own reward. My favorite thing about Mercy is that she's a very feminine character, very empathetic. She's all about helping others. I'm right behind you. But then she's a doctor, very educated, super tough. She's a badass. Heroes never die. She's a real woman. And I think that in video games and entertainment, we have lacked that for so long. We want to see these types of characters that are like the women we know in real life. Let's keep the skies clear together. Okay? Oh, Farah, my mercy. Ah! 
<laughs> happening, I will be cosplaying Mercy for the first time ever. And we chose to do the witch skin. It has a lot of really fun details, a really cool witch hat, thigh high boots with these really cool buttons. And then she has her staff, her caudacious staff, but the like bottom of it is a broom. And then the wings, of course. I've been wanting to do this for so long. I'm so excited and I can't wait. Your witch has arrived. I'll be watching, watching over you. All right, I think we got it. Cool. I untie him, motherfucker. And I have to say that the Overwatch fans are so colorful and so cool. I'm always like, oh my god, everybody has like pink and red and green hair and you know, they're all different kind of uh, identities and, and from different backgrounds and countries. And, and I think that there's a lot of opportunity in the world, especially for women, to have more of a voice. There are bigger gamers now that are females and there's more females going into the leagues. The gaming world is sort of at the forefront of pushing for that acceptance more than anywhere else. For the gamers, it really doesn't matter where you're from or who you are or what you look like. I know a lot of people I think that play video games have trouble sometimes connecting with people socially. And so, not to say it, you know, gamers are all misfits, but I very much identify with not feeling like I belong and, and feeling kind of, you know, like the weirdo and the alien always everywhere I go. And I think that I connect with a lot of gamers on that, you know, and, and I, I feel like the community is very open. And so I always think it's so awesome how colorful the fans are. So I'm most grateful for that aspect of, um, of being a part of it. Just the support and how lovely they are and how, yeah, how cool it is to hear all their stories. I hope that people playing these types of video games that put more emphasis on character and story will embrace the diversity, the complexity, and also the community aspect of what these games stand for. And that's what they stand for to me. Heroes never die. Los héroes nunca mueren. It's the diversity in the game that made it as big as it is. The whole motto of the game is it's a world worth fighting for. The game, in the way it works, brings people together, but then the premise of the game is about coming together and it's about Overwatch reuniting to save the world. And so I think that's what made people all over the world connect to this game because the diversity allowed so many people to find a character to identify with. 